one and all to the KOE Nation for another premium spirits review. We are going once again to the island nation of Ireland for a whiskey that Tony's been looking forward to uh, for a minute or two. I think maybe even three minutes. More like, more like 16. Okay, okay. Yes, uh, 16 years even. even. Bushmills, single malt Irish whiskey. So this is all from malted barley, but this is from Ireland rather than Scotland. Now, for folks who don't know, single malt or malted barley is barley that is allowed to germinate for a small amount of time to allow certain sugars and uh, enzymes to build on them, and then they distill them. The Bushmill 16 is matured in three different woods, all sort of sherry and bourbon, and are used for the first 16 years before finishing in port wine barrels. This is going to be incredible. Oh, so bourbon, sherry, and port. Yep. Oh, that, y you just hate those. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I've been so eager to try this. Age 16 years, which is, uh, 16. Which is a age statement you've... Uh, yeah, it's, it's right there next to the 15, which is my favorite, so I'm, I have high expectations here for this. Oh, boy. So The Bushmills line, the red, is my favorite. I love the white. The black has grown on me. The 10-year single blew my mind for the price as to how good it was. Let's see if this can be even better. I'm a lover of Bushmills black. Uh, just sherry. Fair, what fair. are you going to do? Let's see how it hits nose, folks. Oh, my. Orchard. Like, just, like, stewed fruits. Like, stewed plums. Wow. Cherries. I was, I was thinking a, a sharper kind of fruit. And that's what I mean, like, stewed. Cherry like, if work, you yeah. threw them into a boiling pot and let them stew. Like, yeah. that's... Oh, that's nice. Slight molasses on the back yes, of the nose, but not a caramel, not a honey, but a thick sweetness. Yeah, like a molasses is perfect. I think we need to just give this a, a little taste. Yeah. Wow. There's Whoa. no bite there. Where is it? Like there's just a little bit of a tingle on your tongue oh. when you let the oxygen hit. But there's no bite. It is. It's like a it's like a like a tart raspberry finish on the end. Mm. Wow. That's Yeah, this is like you said, it's very light and crisp, but it, it feels thick, but you can tell it's not. Yeah, like you said, this is yeah. cherries mm -hmm. and a little bit of plum. Oh wow! This is this is amazing stuff. This is uh, this is really nice. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, it's a lot less inviting on the front half than the ten for sure, but not in a bad way. Oh, the tingle! The tingle hits you a lot quicker than the ten. The ten is oh, so crisp my. and clean that this is this feels much more. I assume the ABV is the same, but uh, oh my goodness, this is only forty. It it tastes higher than forty to me. Mm. Doesn't to me. It tastes lower. Mm. Like this just goes down too easy. It does. It's so nice. Oh man, this is amazing. Like uh, this is That's great. Like That's I know great. you're gonna. Wow. This is high praise coming from me. Okay. This swings in the weight class of my particular favorite single malt from Scotland. Okay? That, that like, wow. I'm sure you don't know what brand that is, folks. Yeah. I'm watching. I'm sure you have no idea. Wow. But high, uh, anyways, um, so we're going to grade this on wow. four scales. That's great. As an Irish whiskey, as a whiskey, cask aged spirit, and I just realized, huh. <laughs> and then shelving and then a secret question okay. which i don't think is so secret anymore but anywho yeah, ask anyway as an irish whiskey on a star scale what do you put this at um 4.75 475 yep 
Four I'm, seven five. I'm gonna agree. It's a four seven five as an Irish whiskey. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, oh, like the only reason it's not five star, I think, is because it does have to, you know, use Spanish port and sherry okay. pipe. So if you wanted to be a snob about that, that's kind of like, what I'm. Yeah, but but we there's will a little see. bit of a gimmick there as an Irish, but it doesn't matter because it's oh, it, it, it works now as a whiskey. As a whiskey, I'm gonna say same. Four seven five. Yeah, get out of my head. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Four seven five as a whiskey, just because this works. Yeah. You give this to anybody who's never had whiskey before, and they'd yeah. be like, "Wow, this is actually very good." No, that's what, it's, what? it's complex. It's thick, but it's thin. It's sweet, but it's tart. It's it's got everything on either side that you would want, and. You you shouldn't cook with this or cocktail it, but I think you could oh. cocktail that. Well, that's why I was going to say on the next category, oh. cask aged spirit. Okay, this is superior cask aging. Like yes. uh, this is superior. Yeah. Uh, the man who's responsible for yeah. this, I don't know if it says his name, but my God, take a bow, my good man, as a cask aged spirit. I'm giving this five stars. This is a five star effort in terms of cask aging. So I'm gonna stick with four point seven five. Oh, so it's four seven five the whole way yeah, through for you. I think you. that's fair. You know that's fair, but I'm I'm going five for okay. this last one. Yes, you could cocktail this. Mm -hmm. You could do amazing things with it. Yeah. I, and this this is diverse. It mm -hmm. would actually make your sweeteners better, it which would. is kind of a rare thing in whiskey. Oh, this um, is so nice. I, boy, in shelving, do we even really need to ask how high on the shelf, on the top uh, shelf it goes? Yes. Uh, now, we have, if this bottle were to run empty, well, when it does. When? Will you seek to replace it, and what did it cost you? This was $85. $85. And I've seen it higher, a lot higher. So... I, I think I will. It drinks like a hundred and twenty dollar whiskey. Easily drinks like a hundred and sixty dollar whiskey. Easily, and I, I the, the ten, that's going to be a staple. The ten year for sure. I will never not have a bottle of the ten year around because that's just so great as something to show off to someone. Like wow, this only costs this, and it tastes like this. Like that tastes like a two hundred dollar whiskey almost, and it's only a quarter of that. This. I would definitely look for it again, hands down. But there's another expression in the line that I want to get to before I would get this one, and that's the 21. Oh, boy, that one's going to be good, but I'm get best, betting a little pricey. I'm sure. Um, me, once my bottle of Bushmills Black runs empty and my bottles of Teeling run oh, empty. Oh, yes, yes. I think probably the main bottle of Irish whiskey I'm going to keep on hand will be this. That is how impressed I am with okay. this. Okay, this will probably replace quite a few Irish whiskeys going forward okay. in my bar. Because as you've seen at my personal bar, I've gotten a rather wide variety. Oh, yeah. And now I'm trying to find what's the best of the best. And this is going to be one of those that until something unseats it, I'm going to keep it stocked. Yeah, I, I think you're right. This has a lot of uh, familiarities, like with a with a specific Highland Scotch. That's why some of these expressions are so inviting. But yeah, mm -hmm. this is this is I can definitely see why you would personally like this so much. I love it. Oh, this is this is a great one. Oh, love, so so glad we found this one. Anything you'd like to say to the people? Uh, Bushmills is quickly becoming one of my favorite brands. It's. It's got blended, it's got single malts, and it's got so many lovely different availabilities. Now, I know, folks, at the uh, in the island nation of Ireland, there is a bit of a friendly rivalry between which whiskey is better between Bushmills and the Middleton Distillery that has Jameson and the like. And, folks, I think we can all just get along. I think we can all come together. All of your whiskeys are quite marvelous yeah. that have been coming out of Ireland as of late, because yeah. Irish whiskey is on the rise worldwide, even it's uh, 
gross sales internationally has been rising. So thank you for this amazing, amazing artisan craft whiskey to all of you at the Bushmills Distillery. Take a bow. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw himself signing off. And as I'm going to say around here, all that being said, like, share, subscribe to the KOE Nation. Thank you for joining us, folks. This has been a pleasure for me. I hope it's been a pleasure for you. T, thank you much, good sir. Indeed. Oh, there we go.